In this episode, we will start to explore our, our next 13 application, which we have already created. And we'll start by checking at this app folder. And later on, we'll be adding many folders and pages inside this app folder. And we'll see how we'll do it. But for now, let us check at this layout.tsx file. And in this file, you'll see that we are uh, defining a component called root layout. And every next 13 application will have this root layout because this is the start of the application. This is where we define the major tags like HTML and the body tag right here. And then for us to define some title tags, description tag for SEO purposes, you'll see here we are exporting an object called metadata. And this object has the title and the description here. And you can edit these properties for them to fit your page needs. So right now the title says create next app. Now this create next app is at the top here. This is the title of the page. So I am in a position to edit it. For example, I can say that this one be e uh, hyphen shop. And once I save, you'll see that this will update at the top here, eShop. And you'll see it's here. And if I inspect this page and come to elements, uh, okay, let me scroll down here. Right here, you'll see our title. And then you'll see a meta tag with the description. And the description says uh, generated by create next app. So that is this description right here, which you can as well edit. So you can say e-commerce app, just like that, and then save. And once it erodes, you'll see that now the content changes to e-commerce app. And here you can add even more properties for SEO purposes, but we'll not go through each property. Now, later on, we'll be creating nested layouts. And for each nested layout, you are in a position to also define a metadata object for each of them. Now here we are passing children prop and then this children prop, we are using it down here. We pass it inside our body. Now this children prop is our different pages in the application and we'll be seeing how we will create different pages in the application. But for now, we already have one page, this page right here, which is our home page. As you can see, it's defined here as home. And here we already have some content and this is all the design that we see right here at our app. It is designed using Tailwind CSS and we will be using Tailwind CSS in the entire course. Uh, but for now, we don't need all this, okay? So what I can do, I can just highlight right here and we can remove everything, okay? And I can say here main, we'll be populating it later with our own content. And I can say e dash and then uh, shop. I save and then if I come back here, you'll see now we have edited everything. And we also have this dark mode. And this dark mode, um, it's because of our global.css styles. So we have these styles. We have these uh, directives for working with Tero and CSS. And then we have all these others. So what I'll do, I want to start everything from scratch. So I can just remove all those other styles and remain with this. So I'll go ahead and save. And now we don't have any styles. Uh, the dark mode is gone. So here you'll see we have explored our global.css file. It will only have those directives. We have the layout here. We have explored different properties here. Let me change this to capital letter. And then uh, we have the root layout, the HTML and the body tag, which accepts our children. And our children is the different pages in the application. And one of the pages is this one, although we will be adding more. Now, we also have this image component. We'll be taking a look at it later on. Uh, but for now, we are not using it. So I'll just remove it. Okay. And I'll save that file. So next, we'll see how we can add our own fonts in Next13.